parent class, you're going to create another class, and this is going to be called ice cream. This is Java 2. We're learning more of the complicated parts of Java. And then in here, you're going to have another variable attribute called flavor. So you should be able to go and create a smoothie or an ice cream, depending on the flavor the user chooses. My major is CIS with a focus in game design. With game design, you're going to need to learn to program. And Java is probably the first and foremost language that anybody learns. It's easy while still having the analytical part where you need to use your logic. And then when it comes to other programming language, all you need to do for them is learn the syntax or the way that you actually type it in. Java is just kind of like a jumping point. Not many things are programmed in Java anymore. At this point, you should be able to use a Java desktop application. So fruit one, fruit two, fruit three, and ice cream all are from Smoothie. We're doing a program in which the person who is using it, or the user, can pretty much design a smoothie. It's really fun to do this kind of stuff. Use a button to add images. We have to? Can they only have up to your smoothie shop? Should look good. How do you want to approach the problem? I have one class, this many variables, another class, this many variables, and then I'm going to use a GUI to, or GUI graphical user interface, to allow the user access to the program and the variables, and then you run it to see if it works. If it doesn't work, there's a problem with either there's still an error that the, the computer can't see, or your logic's wrong, and you've got to go back and take another look at your logic.